I might as well give an intro to the vlog up here since I'm already here. It looks so grayed out somehow without these on. Maybe I should just turn it on. Isn't it crazy how much of a difference that makes? I just want to start off this vlog with thanking you guys for all the support in 2022. Overall, this has been a crazy year for my channel and I also plan on posting more on my vlog channel or my second channel. So I will link that down in my description if you guys haven't seen it already. But yeah, I got off on a tangent, but back to this vlog. Um, today is a Monday. I rarely start vlogs on Mondays, I feel like, because they're just, Mondays are definitely not my favorite day of the week, but they also do happen to be my day of the week with the least meetings, um, aside from Friday, but usually Monday is actually a little bit better. And I'm also wrapping up with a lot of things. I feel like I say that so much, but yeah, things just get wrapped up a lot <laughs> towards the end of the year, I guess. So I have a few things I'm closing out on. Um, for those of you who are curious, I actually don't have my end of year performance review directly at the end of the year. And this was true for my last company too. Um, you would think that you know, you get your performance review talk and stuff before Christmas and then you have like a year-end bonus. But I feel like most companies actually do it next year, like at the beginning of next year, maybe in like January, February, maybe even March. It depends on what each company's process is and their timeline for performance reviews, as well as the fact that some companies follow a fiscal year versus a calendar year. So it'll also depend on that. When I first started working, I initially thought everyone gets it before Christmas and then they get like the year end bonus, but usually year end bonus isn't until like early next year anyway. I guess something else I just want to touch on briefly is just the fact that I am very interested to see what next year is going to look like in terms of hiring and layoffs and stuff like that. But specifically because a lot of the big layoffs happened because of the over hiring towards the beginning of this year and you know, over the pandemic. <laughs> Why does this packaging look like CBD gummies? They are not. These are normal, normal gummies. Alright guys, we're gonna get lunch soon. Also put on a jacket because it is kind of chilly. And yes, I have horrible sitting posture. This is how I sit at work. We recently got this heated blanket. I feel like usually he's so cold because he's the smallest cat. It's just really chilly. By the way, we have a cat Instagram. And in my opinion, they're funny, but you guys can let me know. spicy chicken sandwich that's really good all right guys we are back excited it's still hot surprisingly um this is the kfc sandwich i think that's just the exact name this is the zoom in very nice guys luca peeled some pomegranates and oh. I Wait, just tell them to guess what this is. It is time to get the mail. Wait, you're wearing my slips. I mean, what else am I supposed to wear? <laughs> First sunlight in a long time. It was like 19 degrees this morning, but it feels like 50s right now. Do any of you guys also feel like life doesn't exist outside of your house when you're working? remotely yeah i feel like since working from home a lot of times the world just feels like a simulation because we just work from home and don't really go outside very much during the work week and it feels like we're like the only people that exist around well okay there's still like neighbors and people that we see but you know you know what i mean right it just feels very different compared to living in the city or i don't know like going to school every day or going into the office every day so that part of it has definitely caused some like, dystopian views <laughs> or like norms in my head and then when i go to cities i'm like wow all these people actually exist i am working through a lot of tickets i have a few people out on my team this week which makes sense because it's the holidays and i picked up a few extra tickets so i'm working through those i'm also looking through a lot of our security policies and stuff like that which is the norm for anyone who is new. There's honestly not too much that's super, super exciting. I think for the most part, because it's the end of the year, we actually have a lot of work, but we also have a lot of people out. This week is definitely way more relaxed than, well, okay, it's only Monday, so I can't know for sure, but compared to the last few weeks that I've had, and you guys have seen like the last few vlogs that I filmed were just very stressful and tired. Um, I feel like I look dead in all of them. Yeah, anyways, I I'm in much better spirits this week like this morning i woke up and i genuinely felt like i could tackle the day and that was not something i felt last week or this past weekend actually when i didn't even have work so yeah definitely reminder to take a break if you guys are you know going through it and whether it's at work or in personal life or in school hopefully you're taking the break that you need especially over the holidays when 
Honestly, you might as well just slow down because a lot of things are closed, people are out on vacation. So you might as well take advantage of that and just also yourself slow down, take a breather and get ready for the next year. But yeah, it is much later in the afternoon. After work, I have a session with my personal trainer. Um, I'm actually not gonna be continuing my personal training probably after this month or so because our schedules are just so horrible. Like I only have one session a week and it, even then it's so hard to schedule around especially when we go travel or if we're working from a different place or which we will do a lot of next year so it just doesn't make sense to keep it and now that i've i mean we've already done it for like eight months since like april or may i feel like i've had enough time to like understand what to do when i go to the gym and stuff so yeah we're probably not going to continue that but it's definitely a great experience i would definitely recommend for beginners um this is my first time with like an official gym membership an official regularly ish go to the gym but we at least go twice a week which i think is you know relatively good considering i used to never ever work out and on a good week we'll even go three or four times and the fact that i'm just eating more protein now um, i've noticed a huge difference because of the fact that i'm aiming for actually uh, 100 grams of protein a day work stuff i'm already mostly done i'm going through the last the last of these security things or tickets that i'm working on honestly it's been a relatively quiet day i don't know what it is but something about it feels i don't know like maybe it's, it feels like people are already on vacation most of my team is still online so it's just been relatively quiet like my team chat i guess maybe that's yeah that's like the main thing that i've noticed all right i'm gonna finish up this ticket if i can finish it up by today and finalize it tomorrow that would be my goal um, I also still have like personal development training that I have to go through. So that is gonna be, that's a, we have like a pretty big uh, catch up that I need to follow up on. Yeah, by then I hopefully will have read all of this as well as done like the hands-on like labs as part of my training. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit because I've been talking for 10 minutes, oh my God. Guys, we are going to the gym soon. Okay, it is pretty cold nowadays and the sun is already setting, but I get really hot at the gym. So I usually just wear a sports bra and this is like my gym cardigan. It's really cropped, which I kind of like. Are we drinking creatine right now? Yeah, creatine and amino. Creatine and amino. But I don't get the tingly stuff from this amino. Yeah, followed up on all of my tickets. Hopefully I can hear back before tomorrow. Um, but honestly not in a rush because the due date for this isn't for the next few days. So I think I should be good there. I just really got ahead of my stuff that I'm doing today so that tomorrow I can focus on the reverse engineering lab that we have to do. And I haven't looked into it at all, so I have no idea what to expect. I still have to read a few chapters of the study guide that me and my team are using. And then there's like this activity that's a part of it. Um, but I haven't looked into what it entails. So yeah, so I'm trying to leave like an adequate amount of time for it. But of course I still need to finalize all of the ticketing stuff that I need to work on. I'm I'm kind of out of breath because I went upstairs to change. That is crazy. Um, I've noticed even with gymming and doing like weight training, which is the main thing that I do, I still have pretty bad endurance for someone. Actually for someone my size, yeah, I have pretty bad endurance. I'm also thinking about cutting my hair again because if you guys don't know, I cut my hair. Specifically, I cut like these little side bangs, um, like sideburn looking things, but now they're pretty much no longer bangs. Like they could be someone's actual hair length. And my actual hair is still pretty long. Like it stops down here. And then cutting these bangs a little shorter. Or maybe I can keep the length and then add another layer here. I cut my own hair by the way. That is why I'm asking you guys this. Which isn't always the best idea. I do not recommend you doing this at home. I've just been doing it like my whole life. Okay. Oh. After the gym. All right guys, Luca is doing something with the lights. So they are off in this part. Um, so you're seeing the glow of my laptop screen. But I'm eating dinner. I'm still finishing my protein shake. We also ordered, I also ordered bubble tea. Literally brings me back to high school and college, my childhood. Their boba is like hands down one of the best boba I've ever had. Like specifically the boba. The drink is okay, but the boba is chef's kiss. Dude, this looks like one of those like 2010 like iPhone video. We also ordered sweet green for dinner. Yeah, working in the dark literally feels like I'm in college. Okay, my camera actually ran out of storage, which is crazy. But yeah, um, I guess that is a wrap and a sign for me to, to stop the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching and following along with me on this vlog. Sorry it is so dark as we're closing it out, but um, yeah, I'm just going to finish uh, up at work. I'm just wrapping up some things because I'm waiting on an answer from a team. I guess I can wait until tomorrow, so... 
if you don't respond by like 6 30 then i will just log off um but yeah i think today has definitely been one of those chiller days compared to the past few weeks or so this camera quality is i can already tell is not going to be very good <laughs> but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye